one of those days when I just want to delve into blissfulness. Lots of tourists in the town today. So apparently the um the bridge went up the other day and a man who was drunk held onto the side and was dangling because he um didn't pay attention to the signs and he was drunk. So I'm going to Salvation Army. 50% off today on clothing. So Much to some people's irritation. But it's better for the environment, that's for sure. So, I'm trying to get a bus. Looks like I could take a shorter walk on the bridge. It's warm, if you can't tell. I am sweating. Just matcha. No orange pico. No green. Well, no black. Just matcha. Well, Get some adventurous, adventurous, and I don't know this portion of this area, but I'm trying to find a, a little way down to the Galloping Goose Trail. Oh, I found a nice little place to take a break. A little bit of shade. This is the um, Gorge Waterway. And uh, yeah, I'm in kind of a blissful um, state today. There's a lot of uh, kind people and um, gentle people out today and walking around and I think everybody's enjoying this weather and um, I think if you set your heart uh, to a loving kind of way your day can just get better and better and better. That's uh, the Bay Street Bridge and somebody in a canoe and I think that's a place to get the water taxi into the inner harbor I think over at that wharf but um, so yeah there's a, a bike a bike um, path path <laughs> it's a trail that goes all the way and over that bridge and throughout Victoria. It, it, there's a lot of bike path um, in this town because we are very pro-bike except for some of the short-tempered drivers that do not like all the new rules for bikes. But, you know, less pollution, what can you say? Um, healthier people. I guess we just gotta make 
we got to make way for one another. So I'm going to stop and have the pause that refreshes. I'm going to have a nice refreshing um, BC Raspberry Coke. Yes, there is such a thing. And um, take a break, and then I'm going to keep going onwards. I want a kayak. I'm at a neat kind of stop place to um, see maps, uh, get bags for your dogs, um, there's a memorial thing, and uh, this is just before the bridge, the walkway bridge that I'm going over. Um, oh my goodness, it's warm. <laughs> I put something over just so I don't have to um, put more sunscreen on um, something very light so I don't get sunburn but I'm going to take you with me over the, the little thing that goes up with the water and uh, yeah it's a very bikey day today be sightseeing. I'd like to go over to that little teeny island over there. It's like right in the middle of the city, but <laughs> just for the heck of it. Plant a flag. Rabies Island. So. I'm not walking all the way there. I'm going to catch a bus at a certain point. Developments, mostly condos. going through a, a little tunnel and there's my friend Jessica um, being painted on the underside. It's a few years old and uh, she's a dancer and uh, a pagan person. Not, never really totally sure what this mural is called or what it's all about but we got some healthy looking people up there. Where's the follow up of, of the Galloping Goose? And somebody wrote um, Gabber Bats. I have no idea. Oh, the piece of art is called Bridging. Um, I must have seen this at some point. Artist Frank Lewis. Community mural. And people still putting graffiti over it, which is not nice. So, anyway, onwards. So. I forgot how long this was. I'm gonna add a 
a map right here. cycles um, and I have to get up to get to my bus so it's gonna be interesting I guess you'll need blackberries already coming out where to go I am near um, Whole Foods at this point I found a place to sit yeah, I could see her too long. But, uh, I've been walking at least, I'm pretty sure, an, at least an hour or more. So I'm getting a good bit of exercise. But there's more to do. There's the Swan Lake. It's a nature kind of bird sanctuary area. Okay. This is the first auspicious feng shui site in Canada. Um, It is a vitalizing spot backed by Christmas Hill and faces a hillock and an expansive plain. A symbolic belt of wealth. Swan Lake, the luminous pearl. Ptolemy Peak, the worshipping mountain. It's beautiful. This is where I am. Picture a red haired girl. And looking over Swan Lake, this luminous pearl. Very cool. I have a little ways to go. Just to the um, area right here where it meshes up. And then I'm gonna get a bus. So oh, beautiful. And refreshing. I just feel like being sprayed with a hose. I'm so warm. But it's so nice and green down here. to go through and then I'll keep walking. Okay. Alright. Alright. Oh, okay. We do live in a beautiful area. That is for certain. Well, I'm home and um, I'm feeling Kind of tingly and good, tired, but good. It was good exercise, that's for sure. Um, but I'm very glad to be on the beach. And uh, I know there's places that are way hotter, but it was at least, it felt like it was at least in the, the high 20s Celsius today. And 
it could have even reached 30 for all I know, but it was a hot day, and, um, yeah, I'm, I'm glad I, uh, could take you along and show you part, a very small part of the Galloping Goose Trail in Victoria. Um, I was actually on my feet walking for close to four hours today, and... Um, a lot of that was walking, so just letting you know how how much um, I did and how it can take really take it out of you, especially in the heat. But um, no sunburn that I can see. Although sunburns always show up at night, they're sneaky that way, aren't they? But I don't think I got a sunburn. So it's pretty good. Um, yeah, so I'm very lucky to live in Victoria. I'm, I'm very lucky to have uh, all this beautiful outdoorsiness and nature around me. And I can't see myself moving. Not for uh, forever, that's for sure. I could maybe move away for... I could maybe move away for like... Um, a year at the most, but you know, not don't move from here. It's too, it's too wonderful. The only problem is the rents, and the and the uh, the house costs are just astronomical. So, um, yeah. So okay, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. I will see you. Um for a vlog-ish type thing on uh, Wednesday. And um, hope you have a good rest of your weekend. Okay, guys. Bye.